I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. Smell of honey in your marijuana. Shots fired, got the spot hotter than the sun. I'm a city to murder, way triple every Yo, 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 what's poppin' with the population? Got my guy with me. Showtime SP, there's nobody that knows bodies. Shit, shit, shit. RightsGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. First of all, salute to every single person who watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. You know, we're just two fans that talk about battle rap. You know, people watch these things. And, and it? it is what it is. So, with the the season of volume six coming around mm -hmm. uh smack volume series you know one of the bigger series and um one of the artists who is missing there's a couple people who are missing off of a volume this time around uh i can name a few new jersey twerking on it or red daylight's not there uh but 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 one that sticks <laughs> out mm -hmm. one that sticks out like a bad bitch with it's out uh, Rum Nitty. Come on now. Rum Nitty is not on the volume. Now, I will say this. I rock with Rum Nitty from, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that's my dog. Mm. He's one of the only people that, like, I only interview a few people and he's been one of them. I think we've interviewed more than once. Uh, I respect what he does. I like, I like how he brings it, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's got the punchlines and things like that. I did feel like... And I feel like, mm -hmm. uh, I did feel like Rum Nitty was battling a little bit too much. Uh, I felt like he was taking, you know, Tyco Bell Tonys, uh, Burger King Bobbies, and just anybody that was standing in front of him. And uh, what I said, with repetition in what Rum Nitty does when you battle it so frequently, it makes the immortal start to seem a little mortal because it's like, damn, you didn't battle. You battle this person, you battle that person, you turn right now. And then not only that, on the off leagues, mm -hmm. on the big league, you mm -hmm. battle the drugs. Mm -hmm. you battle, I'm like Rum Nitty, like come the fuck on. Like you're going from big stage battling against K-Shines and all these names. Now you coming all the way down to the basement, my nigga. Like what are you doing? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like who's, who's managing this career right here? Right. So what I say is... What we see is what we know. Like the last time we seen you in a couple battles, the people that you battling against, it's like my nigga, like you you not getting killed killed, yeah. you're not losing, you're not, you're losing. not stumbling and fumbling all over your raps, but it's who you battling against. Yeah. They're not doing shit for you. So now he's finally taking a couple events off. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna toss it over to you, but uh he did jump on Twitter and he said a couple things. And uh, you know, I like I like to see this out of uh, my guy Rum Nitty. He said mm -hmm. what he said. I'm gonna say what he said. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying he said uh, he said I haven't rested my mind in years. Gonna be a lot of thirties when I return. <laughs> punch goat like the punchline goat. It's gonna be a lot of thirties when I return. All right. And once I read the, this one and the next one, I'll throw it over to you to get your opinion. Mm -hmm. He even added Murder Mook. What's the word, big dog? Trying to get that GOAT check mm -hmm. after status, I want but I gotta knock out niggas like you to get my respect. Mm -hmm. Loaded and hollow, scared to jump back off the porch, but I got faith in you. Mm -hmm. Calling out some of the bigger names, and you know, this is one of the things, before I, I really want you, what's your, what's your thoughts on all of this? You know, I'm just gonna compound it on throw it over you. Mm -hmm. This is one of the things when um, JC was on that path. To loaded lux, it was like summer man the sixth time. Mm -hmm. He battled Rum Nitty, he got past Rum Nitty, but then he started taking a bunch of battles that watered down the lux conversation mm -hmm. to the point where lux was like, "Look, man, when the situation, you know, when it when it when it meets, that's when the gods get entangled." Mm -hmm. But the, he's doing too many things with me and mortal, so he can't have that god conversation. Mm -hmm. Like God not gonna come down here to play basketball in everybody's backyard. Mm -hmm. It got to be something. The situation got to be right for. You know, he starts talking that and shit. And I'm about to say, well, yeah, you talking in circles. I got you, though. But anyway, you. <laughs> you, got a lot to, you got a lot to break down, man. It's on you, my brother. Look, man, Rum Nitty is one of my favorite battles. I'm not going to lie to you, man. Big Every time, Anytime you see Rum Nitty on the card, anytime you see him, you know what you're getting from Rum Nitty. Yep. It ain't been too many Rum Nitty battles. Uh, uh, the, the best way I can explain it is you always notice how they always do uh, super, uh, something versus Superman. 
something versus Superman. Nine times out of ten, it's somebody versus Rum Nitty. Because it's really the competition for them to battle with Nitty. That's how it felt all year long. It just felt like you had to have somebody go against Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty has also been a person that's been on every fucking card. Mm -hmm. We yeah. get to that point where it's like... You know, like we, we kind of get a little, we, we're not tired of it, it's just we feel as though that he is a little bit oversaturated mm -hmm. and he's done a lot of the same things. The things that we love, we now see a lot of. You know what we sound like right now? Mm -hmm. We sound like that needy girlfriend. We sound like that clingy, clingy girlfriend. Because here's the problem with that. Because like I'm, just, I'm just saying, I'm thinking about it though. Just It, it ain't just you, it's, just, it's me too. Because here's the thing we want you around Yo. all the time. Like we want you to be. All the time, the mix, showing yeah. up intermittent. And as soon as you not on one car, as soon as you miss that one phone call, as soon as you yeah, miss that yeah. one lunch break. Yeah, your break lights, yeah. Hey, hey, you all right? Everything good? Am, am I am I doing something wrong here? What's going on between, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So for Rum Nitty not to be on volume, I think I think this is the one, only one that Rum Nitty's not on. He's been on like pretty much all of them. Because if I'm not mistaken, out of six, he's been on a lot. Rum was about on four or five of the joints. Okay. He said he had to. Uh, what do you say? I had to uh, load up. The, uh, I had to turn down the volume. Right. Yeah. So he had to twerk on one. He had to shine on sugar. Yeah, shine. He had shine on one. Uh, no, no. He uh, he got uh, sugar. He on had sugar on one too. Yeah, Iron Solomon on yep. one. John John. Yeah, he he had a lot of guys. Pump up the vibe. He said a third volume in a row. Uh -huh. Remember you that? See what I'm saying? Third like, volume in a row. Like there's certain. So when you think of WrestleMania, you think of The Undertaker. Yeah, Iron Solomon on a fucking volume. That's, That's what, what I'm was saying. On volume, when though. you think of WrestleMania, you think of The Undertaker. Yeah. That's kind of how I was feeling about volume. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Same thing, like you expect Rock to be on a Summer Madness, same mm -hmm. way how you expect Rum Nitty to be on a volume. All of that being said, right, It I, we, we kind of do miss you. And, and granted, it's only been like over a month, because yeah. I'm going to say because he did Kings vs. Queens. Yeah, but that, that was a forgettable battle. Right? But that's what I'm saying. And then before that, he had Reed. Yeah. Yeah, you see what and I'm saying? he didn't win that one. But you, you see what I'm saying? So it's like... But he was there. You get what I'm saying? He ain't choking. He, he showed up. This is what happened. What you expect? You know what I'm saying? So I made my name putting dirt on the floor. I feel like Grizz. I don't want murder no more. That was fire too. I got two silver all over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so, crazy. with all of that being said, right? Now it's like, all right, well, we don't want you to battle the Taco Bell Tonys. We don't need you to be battling the, the, the lower tiers. We don't need you going on a rookies versus vets. You yourself need to be battling only God tiers. You are on the same, you on the same train that Geechee Gotti is on. You on the same train that Tay Rock is on. And you should only be talking to God tiers. You should only be thinking about getting God tier names. With you saying murder move, uh, 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 I, as much as um, of a fan of I am of Rum Nitty, okay, I don't want you to battle move. Cause that is a battle I will be biased for you. And uh, uh, if you battle a Lux or a Hollow, I would love to see those battles. These are the God tier names that I would love to see. But give us a little bit more time. Just, just like, just, just go. Make we really miss you now, cause we miss you on the on the volume. Next time around though, you. Eat, but I just, I don't want him to have him set up a battle like where it's like, all right, well. URL, most respected. You got Rum Nitty versus Murder Mook, but that shit's gonna be Gnome 11. Right. You mean to tell me we gotta have Rum Nitty sit out from now till no, Gnome? No, 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 no. I don't think it's gonna happen like that. I just think that, uh, <laughs> I just think that a break for him would be good right now <laughs> because if you put him on, if he was on this card that happened right now, right? And let's say they were giving somebody else a shot, like, um, let's just go for somebody else. Like Fonz. Okay. You put Rum Nitty vs. Fonz on a volume. Okay, it's cool, but I mean, like, for real, like, the, the it's, one, it's one of them things like that. You'll get another one of the subsidiary performances in some cases that we have been accustomed to getting mm -hmm. when bigger names are taking lesser talent. Right. Now, and I'm not saying nothing about Fonz, but we ain't even seen Fonz. The funny thing about, and I just, and I, I don't really want to intertwine his name and, and brand with this blog, but. The man won the first Ultimate Madness, and he ain't been. Like, what the fuck is going sense. on? Like you, you, like this is how you stall talent. You know what I'm saying? Like you stall talent by doing this. He had an ass battle. I heard it got rescheduled or whatever. But there are other MCs who have been getting mad battles. Now listen, think about it. Mm -hmm. Has he battled since then? 
I don't want to get this wrong like the other day when we was talking about Goods and Goods battled Cassidy right afterwards and we didn't mention that, which we should have. But uh, that battle it was so yeah. But anyway, I don't have nothing memorable from Fonz since, since the first Ultimate Madness. Madness. Yeah, the he worst, just got to fucking battle somebody. And, and 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 not to not to just keep banging it on. It's like well, nobody did it. The winner of Ultimate Madness didn't really get a look. You crazy? Because B Dot just battled Holmesy. He on has got versus to Rock. be on in our you if in our minds. If you're not the card, in our minds, got, there's too many people battling right now that if I don't if we don't see you, you're gonna get forgotten. You had two born legacies go by. Five he was not on. Well, wait, no, he was supposed to be on ten. He was supposed to be on born legacy ten. He was supposed to battle Ab. Yeah, but it didn't happen. Hey, that's what but before then, there how many cards? I, they had the murder. They had the mur uh, the rock. Rocky Moot card, Fonz wasn't on there. King Queen, King whatever. and Queens, Fonz what? Do you mean to tell me y'all couldn't give us an up and comer queen that could have battled Fonz? Yeah, Something, but you know. Let's just, I hope to see him soon, but let's not deviate from All of that being said, Rum Nitty is is literally at the bottom of the barrel, like as far as his competition. Yeah. So when your competition now you literally just scraping for scraps. You now you only need the best plates. You should only be asking for filet mignon or better. I only want the ten ounce or better. Yeah. And that, I heard. Um, and I'm gonna just be honest with you. When I hear things, I hear things from pretty reliable sources that he wanted daylight, and that higher up was like, no, not right now. Like, he, they, I, I heard they was like, no, like they weren't even jocking that right now. They were like, nah, he's not. Um, he got, he got to work it back. He got to get it back right. And I don't even understand why they saying not right now. The fucking daylight threw that shout out at at uh, summer madness. I'm just telling you. You get what I'm saying? Like, that was summer madness. Like, whatever time that you needed between, then you gave him fucking drugs. You gave him, like, you gave him, uh, uh. No, you gave him, <laughs> you gave him Jerry Billy West. D. You gave him fucking, uh, Billy D. Williams. You gave him, uh, 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 uh Oba Bubba Tunde. I'm trying to give you all old nigga names. <laughs> um, but you get, like, I, so, so what do you mean he got to earn something? Like, I don't. That's the ins and outs that we don't know about battle rap, is it? Mm -hmm. And then we don't, and then another thing that, you know, at least with NBA, you know, you know niggas contracts, you talking about money and shit like that, where if they said Rum needed to just sign a contract deal to battle so-and-so and so-and-so, we would be like, yo, you should have argued for this much, but we're not arguing that. Right. So we can't sit there and say, well, is Nitty, is Nitty just collecting a check? Obviously not, because if he was supposed to be collecting a check, why didn't you give him the people that you could have, you could afford him for mm -hmm. and give somebody the other bag? Mm. I mean, it's just so many different ways that you can think about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would like to see him continue to get some bigger names and um, get back to that, get back right. And I tell you what, with what Rum Nitty does, mm -hmm. he's a punchliner. Mm -hmm. When you putting a guy that's punching as frequent as him, mm -hmm. that when you got to keep doing that every two, three weeks. Mm -hmm. You know, some of the punches is, you know, you yeah. punch it so much. And I will hit that hard. But if you battle in like a couple months and all of that is compacted into one opponent, you know what I'm saying? Like, we can't act like Nitty didn't battle Chilla Jones and that wasn't one of the crazier ones. That wasn't one of the crazier ones of the year. Like, he went fucking crazy. That was, was that another volume? That was a Yo, volume. the nigga was on every volume. I told you. Yo, Rum Nitty might have been on every fucking volume. Every right volume. Now. So, for him to not be on this one, I'm not tripping. But. I don't know. know. Like I said, the same way I expect Undertaker at WrestleMania, I expect Rum Nitty on the volume. But, with all of that being said, too, just to, just to keep that ball rolling, why hasn't Nitty gotten the, the, the God tier name? Like, to me, the I think the only person that Rum Nitty has battled that is of the highest tiers is Tay Rock or Gnome. Mm-hmm. Like every like cause think of every classic that Rum Nitty has, it's usually somebody that's round his league or below him. Classic, we talking about. Oh, yeah, no, come on, the Iron Solomon now. Okay, my bad. That, like God okay, okay. God that was God, God level. Okay, like I said, but, okay, well since Iron Solomon. Mm. It, it, but that's what I'm saying. It's far and few in between. John John is John John. Like I said, but when he battled John John, John John wasn't God tier. Okay. He was right. He like he was about to be that level. But you give him like the names that Rumney, even JC. JC's not God tier, but at that time, mm -hmm. he, was, he, was, he was, it was around somebody that same level. So now, yeah, now, yeah. Stone, I don't want to see Rum Nitty unless it's somebody of God tier level. That that that's that's just plain and simple. You dig? Bow. <laughs> she in the mall, they hit with the fit wire. She said, I smell like Henny and marijuana. Shots fired, got the spot hotter than the sun. I'm at city to murder rate, triple every fucking summer. And my girl says she miss me. I'm always out the grind. Stuck up in the kitchen, I just served the number nine piece. Free all my niggas, little bro, doing the nine piece. You looking for the key to dope home where you can find me? Loads and sit
my phone fast, send me over. Paranoid, chasing my demons, I ain't never sober. Ha, them youngers off that shit, boy, don't approach them. You all the shits in the streets, little nigga, let us coach you. Ha, they love you, then they hate you, then they love you again. She say I'm all about a dollar, what the fuck she just spent? I'm a decent nigga, I get you checked for a check. Play with my bed, and them niggas coming straight for your neck.